What's up guys, Diggin' Dave. I have a ton of penny boxes just sitting around in my office. Um, so I'm trying to catch up on going through some of these penny boxes. These have been sitting in my office for a couple weeks. Um, these style boxes with the holes in the bottom, I'm not sure who they're by. Well, they are circulated pennies. Two boxes. Like always guys, $50 penny hunt. We're going to start with box number one. Let's get digging. Hopefully we find something cool. Well, good start. Roll number one. Roll number one. We're going to have a wheat penny already. 57 Denver. Let's keep on digging. Well, I'm on roll number 20 of box one and finally got another wheat penny. Got a wheat penny on roll one. Slowed down quite a bit. Now roll 20. Uh, where is it? Right here. Wheat penny number two. 1944. So hopefully box one picks up a little bit. Let's keep on digging. Roll 26, just past the halfway point of box one. Going to get Wheat Penny number three. It's a pretty slow box, but hopefully we find a few more Wheat Pennies or something cool. Going to be a 44 Denver. Let's keep on digging. All right, guys, I'm on roll 28. It's not a Wheat Penny. At first, I thought this was just, uh, I thought this was damage, but I don't think, think so. This looks to be an extreme grease error. The rim looks normal. Look at this. That is really cool. Let me put it underneath the microscope. Look at this, guys. Oh, yeah. This is a major grease error. In God We Trust is almost completely gone. Liberty's gone. I think it's a 21 Denver. Let's look at the reverse. Oh, this is a major grease error. Wow, that is actually really cool. America, part of states is gone, United. That is actually really cool. This is one of the most, I think this is the most extreme grease error I've ever found. Look at that. That is pretty awesome. All right, guys, let's keep on digging. I'm on roll number 42. This box has been pretty slow on the wheat pennies. Still only have three wheat pennies, but guys, I'm still really happy. This is an amazing find. This is the most crazy grease error I've ever found. Just a really cool, as you can see, struck through grease error. That's awesome. But here in this roll, I did find an older Canadian scent right here at King George VI. And it's going to be a 1943. So this is right in the middle of World War II. Really cool history. All right, let's keep on digging. Roll 44, getting towards the end of this box, uh, box number one. We are going to have another wheat penny, though. Wheat penny number four for box one. A 1945. Let's keep on digging. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for box number one. A little light on the wheat pennies. Only four wheat pennies. Um, three from the 40s, a 57 Denver. Got a few Canadians, a 64 Younghead, a bird scent. We did get that 1943 King George VI. This is definitely the find of the box, though. This really nice, this major grease air. I sent this to a couple people, and they did verify this is not damaged. This is a nice grease air. Probably the most extreme example I've ever found. And I did weigh this right here, guys, copper pennies. Um, we had 3 pounds, 11 ounces of copper pennies. So almost, uh, well, not quite 4 pounds of copper, but yeah. That's what I found for box one. Let's keep on digging and move on to box number two for this video. Roll 15, we're going to get wheat penny number two for box two. This one's going to be, let's see here, 1955 out of Denver. All right, sweet. Roll number 20 of box two is actually going to give me two wheat pennies in the same roll, so that's a good roll. Wheat penny number three and four for box two, a 1946 Philly. And right here we're going to have... A 1951 Philly. Let's keep on digging, guys. Roll 25 of box two, exactly at the halfway point. We're going to have Wheat Penny number five. A 1944. A little bit of a slow start here to box two, but we now have five Wheat Pennies at the halfway point. My average is about 10 Wheat Pennies a box, so hopefully if the average keeps up, the next 25 rolls we'll have another five, maybe more Wheat Pennies. Make it around an average of 10. Let's keep on digging. 
Roll 33 of box two. I'm going to get Wheat Penny number six. See what it is. 1947 Denver. Sweet. I'll take it. Well, I'm on roll 42. I just laid out the roll like this, and this is what I see, guys. I see one Wheat Penny there and another, both reverse facing. So let's go ahead and see what these are. Really quick. A 1951 Philly, that's Wheat Penny number 7, and Wheat Penny number 8 right here. A 41S. Sweet. Let's keep on digging. Just finished box number 2, guys, and just as I thought, got two more Wheat Pennies in the last few rolls I went through, so that's going to end box 2 with 10 Wheat Pennies. That's my average, so great. Let's see what they are. We have... 45 Denver, and then right here we have a 52 Denver in pretty nice condition. So nothing crazy here in box two, but we did get quite a bit of copper. This uh, cup here, this little plastic container I use is almost full of copper pennies. So let me go ahead and weigh this really quick. We'll see how many pounds of copper I got here in box two, and I'll be right back, guys, with a wrap-up for this two-box penny hunt. So not bad, guys, for box two. We got 10 wheat pennies. Unfortunately, nothing old, all 40s and 50s. We got a few Canadian cents as well, some copper, some not. Uh, but for box two, I calculated I used a scale 3 pounds, 13 ounces of copper pennies. So not bad. Let me get the fines from box one, and we'll do a quick two-box wrap-up. So here's the wrap-up, guys. Not too bad. All the wheat pennies were 40s and 50s. We didn't get any oldies, unfortunately. We did get the one, King George VI, 1943, which is awesome. Got quite a few Canadian cents, some copper, some not. Uh, the find of this $50 penny hunt would definitely be this major grease air. Just missing a lot of the detail. And I did verify with two people who know a lot about coins that this is a grease air. Again, look there. Just a lot of the detail just missing. That's an amazing find. But here's a rundown. Box 1, 4 wheat pennies, 3 pounds, 11 ounces of copper. Box 2, 10 wheat pennies, 3 pounds, 13 ounces of copper. So between both boxes, a total of 14 wheat pennies and 7.5 pounds of copper pennies. So not too bad. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And you guys know, until next time, keep on digging.